All right, everybody, welcome to the next installation of setting up our Mavic 3 Enterprise, the M3E. So we've gotten to take a look at the interface of the uh, Mavic 3 Enterprise and the remote controller, which is right here. And we've fired up the drone already, and we've taken a look at the settings in the Pilot 2 app, which is right down on the uh, left-hand corner. And I'm going to actually start the screen recording now because everything we're going to be doing is going to be on screen. So. So there we go. I've started the screen recording now, and so like I said last time, we took a look at the DJI uh, Pilot 2 app, and what I want to get to right now is getting some of my favorite third-party applications onto this controller and using it with the controller and using it with the flights that I have already created for other drones. So we're going to be dealing with Map Pilot Pro, and we're going to be dealing with Drone Harmony. So this is pretty exciting. It's also a little unnerving. I don't install a lot of things on Android devices. And in the case of this one, we're going to start with Map Pilot Pro. It's not available through the Play Store, so their enterprise version, you have to go download the APK. And you've got to do that on their website. So I don't know if I'm going to blow anything up or not. So I have already corresponded with the folks down at Map Pilot Pro and they sent me to their support site, so support at dronesmadeeasy.com. And I'm going to scroll down here, and we're talking about the installation. So the Google Play Store is for the normal Android devices and not for the Enterprise device. So we're going to scroll right past the Play Store. Let's see, installing Map Pilot Pro with APK, Enterprise, and Mini 3 instructions are below. So download the current APK for normal Android devices here, 1.4.9b, all right? That is not for us. Um, the folks at Drones Made Easy sent me a note and said, you know, the last character should be E, not B. So that is the differentiating factor here, and so let's scroll down. There we go. Installing Mac Pilot Pro with APK on DJI's latest enterprise remotes, and this is one of their latest enterprise remotes. So scrolling down here. It is supporting the DJI RC Pro Enterprise, so M3M and M3E, and also the M30, M30T, and uh, we've got one more there, the Mini. But here is the APK right on screen. It says download 1.4.9E. I'm going to go ahead and tap that, and I'm going to cross my fingers that we don't blow anything up here. Uh, allow Firefox to access photos and media on your device. We're going to say allow. And it is downloading, so let's go ahead and hit that download, 121 megs, and I'm going to hit the download. Now, as regular folks on my channel and in my classes know, I fly with DJI equipment, so we've got a couple of uh, Mavic 2 Pros, uh, we've got a Phantom 4 uh, V2, and we also have uh, an Avada as well. And let's see here, it looks like that download is done, so now... Where do we find downloads on, uh, on Android? I'm not sure. I'm just arrowing back here. And actually, we will close that up. And now I'm going to go to Files, because that seems like a reasonable place to go to. And I'm going to go down to Download. Ha! There's the APK right there. Map Pilot Pro. And let me... Give it a tap. Your phone and personal data are more vulnerable with unknown apps. I'm going to go ahead and continue. Do you want to install this application? Yes. I think I do. Can I take it back? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Sorry. I know I've got a weird sense of humor, everybody. All right. Map Pilot Pro app has been installed. We can say done or we can say open. I'm going to go ahead and say done because I want to see this on my screen too. So I'm going to say done to that. And let's get ourselves out of that download screen. And let's see, I don't see anywhere. Oh, there it is. Look at that. I'm going to tap and hold that and drag it back to, there we go. Drag it back to the main screen as well. And so now we've got Map Pilot Pro on here. So far, so good. Nothing's been blown up. Well, we don't know that. We're just seeing the, the main screen. Let me go ahead and tap Map Pilot Pro. Allow Map Pilot Pro to access this device's location. Yep, allow only while using the app. So that's what we're going to say to that. Permission is granted. 
and this is really interesting here. So looks very similar to my regular Map Pilot Pro, but I'm missing two buttons that are on the Apple installation. So we have a new mission, so we can create something completely new. We've got mission plans, so um, we can go look at those. We have our file manager, and finally we've got settings here. So I'm going to have to log into this, and we don't want to share our login here. But let's go ahead and check this out. So I'll be blanking things out on that screen, but I'm going to go ahead and log in. All right, so I did get myself logged in. This is crazy. Service level is at Pro, and it expires July 4th of 2024, and I can add four additional devices. So it looks like I'm probably going to need to sync up my iOS versions with this. And we do have the options of Flight Sync, Mission Plan Sync, so we can actually sync between one device and another, which I will be doing later. Um, controls one-way syncing for Maps Made Easy. And then we can, let's see here, Flight Camera. We need to go ahead and change that. And that's going to be the Mavic 3. Hmm. Mavic 3 Enterprise, there we go. And inherit the camera settings, we'll leave that for now. Um, we're going to turn off metric. So it looks like we got everything installed. I'm still recording this right now, but now I'm going to go through, play with this a little bit, and we'll come back in a follow-up video where we actually take a look at the Map Pilot Pro application and how it's going to work with the M3 Enterprise.